Can you tow a car without insurance? Car insurance provider more than have raised alarm bells regarding the authenticity of cars that are purchased secondhand. According to the insurer thousands of drivers who have bought used cars may be putting themselves at unnecessary risk from accidents and even fraud. Many second-hand vehicles tend to be unsafe with the dealers more often than not having little or no experience or knowledge of the motor industry meaning that when they are buying cars to sell from auctions they are not fully aware of exactly what they are getting. Moreover a great number of used cars may have been stolen and as many as one in three of those cars that are bought privately in the UK could have averse histories that render them worthless. People who choose to buy cars through private individuals are putting themselves at greater risk of deception and long-term problems as opposed to those who buy from dealerships. Commercial traders can be prosecuted under the Trade Descriptions Act for selling a vehicle with an adverse history whereas private sales do not operate under any authoritative auspices. Credit agency Experian compiles information about the history of motor vehicles and has estimated that 29% of cars with adverse histories are also landing the new owner with outstanding financial agreements. In these instances cars are being sold on before existing credit agreements have been settled therefore the buyer is not in fact purchasing the legal title to the car leaving it exposed for reposition and the buyer vulnerable to significant financial loss as there is no way of recouping the funds. Other common problems of buying second-hand and used cars include stolen cars cut and shuts which is the welding together of two damaged vehicles to create a visually undamaged car and vehicles that have been declared financial and economical write-offs by insurers following previous accidents. Car buyers can obtain a history for the car they intend to purchase a report tracking the details of a vehicle's past is available for a fee. The report will include information such as past ownership mileage history any instances where the car has been reported stolen as well as any events where it has been an insurance write-off. However and despite common occurrences of buyers being landed in hot water a measly 1 in 10 buyers will take the trouble to check the information of the car they are purchasing. Those who choose not to obtain a thorough vehicle history are creating unnecessary problems for themselves with the variety of issues which can arise in the sale of a second-hand car. Aside from theft reposition and ultimately driving a death trap a buyer could also encounter suspicions from garages in a DVLA if they have been given details of inaccurate mileage or even changes of paint color. Therefore it is a small price to pay as obtaining a history report of the vehicle could prove to be invaluable.